Well, welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. Today I wanted to show you a quick tip on a different setting that's inside your depth and slope option. Instead of just doing flat planes or sloping planes, you've actually got what's called a cross section option in there. So if you go into your shovel with the gear and go to your job setup, in here I've got a project that's a site, site tech in field and I'm on the mode which is depth and slope and I don't have any designs or anything. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Right off the bat, it wants to know a bench heading, basically the way you're going. So out in front of me here, let's say I wanted to actually come up this uh, kind of this dump site right here and then flatten out and then make a V-ditch or a berm or something on the side right here. You can do that from depth and slope without even having to create a infield design where normally you would do that. So we can go ahead and just, I'm going to line my sheet machine up right now with where I want it to be. So I've got my bench heading set. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bench my elevation at my blade tip right here. So I've got that off my left side. And on the top right here where you would normally go into these icons if you touch and hold for the, the main fall, you've got an option in here for slope and then section. Everybody just goes in there and sees the slope but they don't realize that both of these have a section option. So to the side of the machine up here where it shows this one for the cross section, if I touch and hold and go in there, instead of just pitching the model to one side, I can actually go in and hit a section. Now I don't have any in here, so that's why it doesn't show anything over here as a template. So I can hit the little box to the right side to create one and add one. So right off the bat, from where I'm at, I can on screen create one. I'm sitting about where the crown needs to be, where I'm gonna come up and then it's gonna flatten out or even have a 1%. So this is very familiar to you probably from where you've actually built infield designs. So you can go ahead and just key stuff in or take your finger and drag it, however you want to do it. But let's say that I want to put a berm over there off my left side. It's, I haven't measured it out. I'm going to say I'm going to build it about 40 feet to my left. So what I'm going to do is right off the bat, I'm going to just come over a little bit and then come up. That's about one foot. So let's back up one. You can zoom out and see the scale right here on the bottom and the top to know how many feet that is. I'm going to build a berm that's up about four feet. Then I'm going to come over just a couple feet, and then I'm going to come right back down to about the same elevation. And then I'm going to come over about 40 feet to where the machine's at, and then maybe another 10 feet. So now what I can do is hit the plus and go, let's go uh, 50 feet. We'll go flat and hit enter. Basically, as I'm doing this, I'm just trying to train you to show you how you can build a cross section right on the fly, right where you're at, without going to infill design. It won't save these, though. But now let's say off that edge right there, I want to build it at about a 2%. And I'm going to just project it out. I don't have an exact number of how far I want to go. That's where you get to kind of design it as you want in the field. So I'm going to go, let's just go about another 100 feet just to kind of blow it out there. And I'm going to put it at a minus 2% so it goes down just a little bit. So there we go. I've got an, a berm over here and a crown point, if you will, and then 100 feet down at a 2%. We can go ahead and give it a name and just call it the dump site. Hit OK. Now what we can do to move it over, though, is you're kind of curious, okay, how do I move that over where I need to, right? Because I'm not necessarily exactly, I didn't make alignment or a section, if you will. That's where we come into this next screen. And this one says the target cross slope and where we're at on it. So I am not actually over where the berm is. I'm more over about where this point is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over by hitting this arrow over to about my crown where I want it to be. And then I hit apply. So I basically have moved it side to side. So if we zoom out, you can actually see the 3D model that it built. So off to my left side, we've got a berm built. And then it's kind of hard because it's only a 2% to actually know where that crown is. So it doesn't actually show where the crown is. It's just one of those things you got to kind of know where it's at. So we can go ahead and actually just start grading at this point. So. We'll go ahead and back up, and you can see that I can set down. I can vertically offset from it or do whatever I need to to actually grade that out. 
So we'll go ahead and offset up just a little bit. We're going to go up uh, 0.25. And then turn the autos on and we're going to go for it. So now that we've got what we needed started to grade out there, you can go ahead and continue to grade of that. Or if you need to go in there, you can actually edit that. So you can go into the same one you've got right there and you can hit the three buttons and either delete it or edit it. You can also save it as templates for future things that you need to do. But the intent of this video is to show you not to forget that when you go into these options at the top to look for the little drop downs that are in there instead of slope, you put it on section. If you want to just go right back to slope, you can go in there and pitch it. You can come back here and set a new um, bench point, or you can do a bench heading and a bench elevation. It's just on the fly. I mean, even if you had a deep dozer just like this, I'm just out at a dump site on a project. There's no need to be building any actual design out here, but if you don't want any duck pond, if you still want to be able to use your autos and make things flow and pitch and look good and not have duck ponds, you can just bring your 3D dozer out and actually turn on a base station and still use this depth and slope or infill design option. So thanks for watching this video from SiteTech Intermountain Earthworks training videos.